So am I not able to go back into the... Oh, this is uh, discerning a little bit. Click on him and then we jack back it. Okay. I was a little worried there. Yeah, let's go back in. Oh, can I not? Did I mess this whole thing up? So now it is back to him. Okay. So we are trying to find more information about, yeah, go to the medical board and see what is up with that. No cover anywhere. Okay. Missed. Oh, 77 percent. A little further. So does he do more damage now or something like that? Whenever you go in, it like changes the order of the ability and stuff like that. I guess they're programs. Let's get rid of you. do extra accuracy against other programs and ESPs and things like that. Alright, sweet. Searching medical records for Silas Forsberg. Medical records file for Silas Forsberg located. These are the years, I'm guessing. Yeah. 2020 to 2030. Okay. So current times now. Pediatric record partial. One particular pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety most likely caused by his physical abnormality, abnormalities. Ab abnormalities. Okay. I don't know why it's hard for me to read some things. We've seen many cases like this recently with the breakout of channel changeling children being born. With the aberrant physiological physiology, we're seeing there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seemed to have no effect. Upping the dosage. Alright, so 2030 to 2040. Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administer for administrator for help. 2040 to present. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The final entry, however, is the most significant. It is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Salas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medicines, medications, have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain 
and emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an unhealthy and frankly an unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimicking mimicked speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will inform him at his next session. So he was a child in 2020. And whatnot. And then, I don't know, adolescent life and then adult life, I guess. Adult years. Got a name now. Dr. Holmes. Let's keep going and find out where he works. Alright. Watch out that black icy could fry our brains and kill us. So this one over here. Yeah. Okay. It's duck in a cover here, I guess. Then. Sniffer. So Silas is obviously the Ripper, but it seems like even as an adult he seems a little childish at the same time. So I don't know what to think of that, to be honest. One more hit. Ten host to damage, okay. So I guess black ICs are meant to like over overdrive the brain and literally fry it. Employment records located Henry Holings Holmes, MD, PhD. Medical doctor, PhD. Check current employment status. Current employment status: Dr. Henry Holmes currently holds the position of chief psych psychiatrist and administrator. At Mercy Mental Hospital, Nahomish, Washington, UCAS. Okay. Check previous employers. Previous employers, 2045 to 2054. Psych psychiatrist in residence, Mercy Mental Hospital. Okay. 2040 to 2045, attending psychiatrist, Mercy Mental Hospital. And 2030 to 2040, private practice. Huh. So he's currently the head psychiatrist for Mercy Mental Hospital, but also he's doing private practice? That is strange indeed. Bingo, back to meet space again. Alright. We can do dashes, essentially, is, you know, just walk a lot further. Well, that was easy, relatively speaking. Got a little hurt, but that's fine. Reality is at the end of day con contextual, and as the meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle on which world is the real one. While the philosophical question lingers, your meat body demands food and drink. You disconnect from your deck to find that the Union's safe house has risen. Okay, I mean, I wasn't... I didn't have a deck, for sure. Okay, let's talk to Grubberman. He's, right now, he's... Alright, despite the hour, Buster is... Fast, fastedlessly, okay, put together in another wrinkle-free suit. He shows every indication that he's been up for hours, sunk to his elbows in a dozen crates, each containing objects of sinister mat, black hidden beneath curls of straw-colored packing foam. 
the foam flies about as he inventories the shipment, clinging to every surface except for Buster's immaculate suit. Just in time, I've got a whole slew of new toys in from a supplier back east. Factory fresh and still smelling of their mother's gun oil. Maybe there's something in this batch you'd be interested in? Yeah, let's see what he's got. Okay. So he does have upgrades then. Okay, that's good. Required ranged combat force. So this will be like our, that could be our next toy. You know. Drones. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Strato 9, which is another attack drone, and then another support drone, Class B is both of them. I have four and a half, a little bit more than that, of new in. <clears throat> Let's get both of these. Confirm. <clears throat> Get rid of these. And then... Get those. So we might be able to get a new outfit as well. Let's confirm that. <clears throat> yeah, never mind. Alright. Awesome. So we've got a... Obviously another attacking drone, but... So it does more of my game will load <laughs> an old Lone Star hover drone that has been given a weapon upgrade cool the med kit on wheels is a runner's best friend in the heat of a firefight okay so we'll definitely keep this one close to us then and then I mean I guess whoever else needs it in our group he's got more stuff what you got Oh, yeah, is he the shaman dude? Oh, no, he's armor. Right. Mersman. Eric Mersman. Oh, wow. Yes. Upgrades for days. So this looks like our new thing. The golden boy. Or the mil-spec flight suit. Wow, this is some pretty cool shit here. I like it. Yeah, so it looks like... This is our next thing. The Golden Boy. Comfortable and... Pockets that, uh, for all your tools. Grants intelligence plus one and drone combat plus one. Yeah. Let's get that. And does the same, gives the same armor as that. And honestly, it does better for us because that one gives us, I mean, plus 3 HP, but that's eh. You know? It also works very well for our dwarf here. Travoke looks pretty snazzy. Okay, there we go. And that's Dr. Castle for some more medical stuff. More runners and stuff. Just there on the job. Change the damn channel. Huh. Okay. Do we have to talk to him again? David Fry. David looks almost as tired as you do. You can tell that this case has gotten under his skin like it has yours. Any luck in there? We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead shop chop shop assistant by the name of Silas Forsberg. Now I have my theories, but what do you think is going on here, Trevoke? Identical twin brother? Yeah. To be... I don't know. Maybe Silas, Silas faked his death? I don't know. Identical brother, twin brother could also be, you know, a theory because... I mean, 
two of them that look the exact same. Both of them being doctors, though. Especially good surgical ones. And then with his experience of being... In the chop shop business. Uh, the chance of his brother also doing the exact same thing. And ha Well, I mean... I don't know. I think he faked his death, personally. If that's a distinct possibility, what was it that we saw in the autopsy report? Uh, I mean... That he, I mean, he was killed by sedatives, yes, but the coroner still thought he had ripped his own face off. Corner really phoned it in on that one. Happens way too often when there's no next of kin willing to f foot the bills for a thorough autopsy. I definitely don't think that report told the whole truth. No, I don't think so either. They match the identity by the dental records, right? Not the most reliable. It matches up with something I've seen runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop that'll make a replica set of teeth for you. Find some schlub off the street no one will miss. Swap the teeth and throw the heat off your trail for a while. Luckily, I've never been that desperate. But why would he need to go to these lengths? Do the police records have something linking him to a different crime? He had a prior for unlicensed plastic surgery. True, wouldn't look too good on someone's record if they want to become a doctor. I think this is be beginning to come together. The late Silas left all his belongings to a doctor. Dr. Holmes, employment records have him as the administrator at Mercy Mental, but the picture on his file matches the person you saw downtown. The same person this DNA belongs to. All the evidence points to him being your killer, whoever he really is. I should go find this Dr. Holmes and ask him some very pointed questions. Please pay him my respects. I always find that high caliber rounds get the message across. You should clearly hire some friends and go loaded for bear. I side loaded a ton of valuable data from those Lone Star Matrix notes. Here's your cut. Yeah, I'll see you later. How much do we get? Okay. Hire runners and head to Mercy Mental Hospital. Oh, well, we got like two and a half grand from them. About. Okay, cool. Oh, Mr. Delilah, okay. Let's quick save here real quick. After my soaps are over. Dwarves and their soaps, right? Alright. Mr. Delilah, if you're looking for runners again, I'm your guy. Discreet service only. Yeah, I need to hire a hire crew. So I th I'm thinking maybe going with those mercenary, the Nephilim network. Yeah, there we go. Is these people are the same? I did Mar I did like Marcus and stuff like that, but yeah. Let's let's try some of these guys out. Human assassin, burned out mage, combat addict, combat decker, combat rigger. Cyber Warrior Initiate Super oh, Support Mage Tech Mage Tech Master Techno Shaman Urban Shaman Utility Man and Weapon Master. I wonder if these people are like multi classed in one way or another. Well, I mean we've only got five and a half grand. To get three of these guys it would cost twenty seven hundred ish. That's not too bad.
let's look at these guys. High grade street armor. Okay. It's got a smart gun. Oh yeah, smart guns. That's something we need to. It's another thing we kind of need to look into. Cool sword may do AP damage on a critical hit. Not a whole lot of damage. Are you in melee? Strength. Hey, I mean, he does more throwing weapons. Melee weapons is actually terrible. Wired reflexes with reflex trigger. Oh yeah, that's another thing we could get into. Oh, well, let's exit. I don't know. Let's just see how much the money is. I think some of the most expensive ones I saw were like two grand. But uh, maybe do one. Just one glance is all you need to tell that the good doctor is exhausted. Her crumpled scrubs are stained with a mix of blood and other fluids too colorful to be naturally occurring in the human body. Her eyes are those of a person who has built up a substantial sleep debt and has no idea when or how to begin paying it off. I'm not one to talk, but you look like Drek, afraid there isn't much I can do for that. Yeah, that's fine. Now what can I do for you? Everything alright here, Doc? Here at the Union? Yes, fine. I'm just getting back myself. Days here tend to be slow, so I volunteer at a medical center on the other side of Touristville, and I had a rough shift. Yeah, what happened? What always happens, some run, or some deal, or some meet went south. One thing led to another, etc, etc. Okay. I didn't hear all the details. All I really know is what came in on the lips of the victims healthy enough to still speak. Apparently one of the Baron's gangs incurred the wrath of the local Suopla rings, leading to a rolling shootout through the city streets. Several bystanders were injured. But the real mess didn't begin until the party squashed, oh, crashed into the yard of an old industrial plant out on Union Hill Road. They woke up sort of toxic spirit, which then began running amok, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. And we were left to pick up the pieces, of course, but enough about my troubles, let's hear about yours. Tell me what ails you. Let's look at your cyberware. So we haven't looked at, I mean, we haven't touched any medical things, so I don't know. Um. This is actually tempting, but that's a lot of money. I won't have enough to actually, you know, hire anybody. These are so expensive. I mean, the cheapest one are the eyes. Well, I mean, next to the silver tech by uh, cyber arm. That's plus six HP. Let's actually get that. Uh, which arm? Let's do left arm. Let's confirm that. Cyberware causes essence loss. This affects the magic rating of your character, as magic is, is equal to essence rounded down. Okay. Magic is very important for spellcasters. The base number of spell slots available to the caster is equal to half of their magic rounded down. Therefore, losing essence can cause spell slots to be permanently lost. Luckily, we're not one of those people, so we don't have to deal with it. In addition, each point of magic lost increases all spell cooldowns by one. Casting a spell again while it is cooling causes drain damage to the caster. You cannot have less than one essence. I'm fine with that is I don't cast spells. Alright, cool. Yeah, never mind. We're good. So we has... 56 hit points. I would like to get that armor one at some point, but my god. 2,000 for that. Yep, so our intelligence went up by 6, and our drone combat increased, so... Yeah, we got nine karma points to spend. Let's do that also before we go on the run. Well, I guess with the money that I have, yeah, I can still get three of those mercenaries. I want to actually increase this so that we could get the better gun as well. I don't remember how much it was, to be honest. And then, yeah. 
Perfect. Plus two armor for our combat drones. So four essence. So because we don't have magic or anything like that, we could actually get to zero essence, I think. In theory. But yeah, let's look at that gun. I oh I don't remember how much it was. 1700? If it's anything above, you know, 1500, I probably won't get it. So what we've got. Range Combat 4. I already got that. Specialist assault rifle used by Corp Sec units. Okay, well. Never mind. Oh, right, not the quickness. Okay, so never mind. I mean, I could get a cheaper one that costs that costs less to use, but we'll see how or what's there. Lots of shotguns and pistols. Okay, so this is the next best one. Does 12 damage, long range, 32 capacity. Yeah, we'll have to get that later. But I think I'll upgrade my gun. Okay, so let's do that. Firm. And then let's sell him our other drag. Our other stuff and stash that we don't need. Oh wow, these are expensive. Yeah. That was worth it, even after buying all the stuff that I did. I'm an idiot. I need to start using my, you know, whenever I'm at a merchant or vendor, I just do that. I mean, should always do that anyway. It's not like any surprise or new gameplay or anything. Yeah, I'd like to hire a new crew. So we definitely have the money now for these guys. So we pretty much had what we got left. A mage? I've been liking mages. They're actually pretty cool. He's got that and a shotgun. Alright. Willpower. Pretty good. Quickness. He's good. Okay. Cyberware, do you have any? Yep. And then I want that so bad. He's... He's worth a lot. Okay. Let's add you. We got the mage. Weapon master. What do you do? Oh, he's a ranged dude. Let's try to find somebody... More melee. No. Oh, cyber warrior. We don't have melee either. The adept? Still, like, strength is high, but nobody's using it. He's the only one with a real melee weapon. Well, we can mix and match, I think. So I think having a better mage is good. Go with you this time around. His strength is god awful. Oh yeah, he's the ranged one. So you're the melee one. Oh, and you upgraded your stuff. Unless you had a katana this whole time. Probably. Yeah, she didn't have that before. But yeah, let's hire you again. And then another ranged person wouldn't be bad either. I was bitching about not having a uh, Decker. Just in case. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. There was actually a kid I went to middle school with. His name was literally Just In Case. It was, yeah. It was quite amusing. But, Tech Mage, so you go into... It's interesting seeing how these multi-class people Okay, so what are you good at? You're good at everything. Huh. So 
So you do that and... Math the troll named Matthew is not right. <laughs> to be honest. Let's do the Cyber Warrior, I think. Yeah, I think let's do that. We're, we're scraping on cash, but I think that's a good, you know, set. Yep. Let's go confront Dr. Holmes. Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes. You've trapped him to Mercy Mental Hospital, located in the notoriously anti metahuman formlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts' killer and bring an end to the Emerald City River. Alright, well, actually, I think this is a good time to stop because I don't want to keep this going too long, but... Yeah, so we a lot of we found a lot of information with Johnny Clean going into the Matrix and finding out more about the killer, and it sounds like this Doctor Holmes is actually impersonating Silas. I thought Silas, you know, personally, uh, kind of, I don't know, faked his death and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes with that. But, I don't know. There's still some questions. We'll we'll get some answers and things like that in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm, I'm really... I mean, I said this every episode, but I'm really enjoying how this is progressing, and it's getting really, really serious, and it's lots of fun. And, yeah, so if you would like, please like, comment, uh, subscribe. It'll help me out a lot, and we'll want me to, you know, do more of these videos for you guys and entertain you during these weird times that we're living in. Uh, down in the description will be my social medias, Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.